You know? People tell you proudly in America, reading's not for them. They go, reading's not for me. Proudly. Long Island's famous for that. Long Island is the only place people take a, an intense pride in their ignorance. It might not be the only place, but it, it's one of them. They just laugh in your face and go, I don't know anything about that. Like If you start saying something intelligent, they'll laugh at you. They'll be like, uh, I don't know anything about that. Ah, big smile on their face because they think they've won and they have. They've won. They're, they're, they've won because they don't know. And then one day, you know, it all, the lights just go black anyway. It just all goes black. The end, produced by Dick Wolf. It's all over. I, you know? So it's not that I'm like politically, I, I, I think Sanders is really interesting. I thought Trump was going to be interesting. I, I think Trump's somewhat less interesting than I think. I think the response to Trump is interesting because these fucking psychopaths on the other side cannot effectively counter him at all. And it just proves that they're as, as wantonly, the Democratic Party is as wantonly corrupt as anything. Um, and they're trying to steal it from Bernie and they're trying to give it to Buttigieg because he works for the CIA or, or, or whether he knows it or not. And he probably does. It's just what it is. OK. Um, and watching this in real time, watching the biggest human trafficking case with uh, huge political I implications, uh, watching that completely go away and get, get out of the news cycle is fucking fascinating. Uh, watching this guy get killed, watching that all be covered up. Watching them try to steal the election from Bernie in fucking real time. I don't care if you like Bernie or not. What's happening right now is fucking historic. You're watching the ruling class of this country losing power and trying, scratching desperately any way they can to rest and put power back in the control of the billionaire cartels of Wall Street, Hollywood, big tech, big pharma, all of these fucking things. These elite you know, organs of opinion, whether it's the Washington Post or MSNBC or the New York Times, they're all trying to diminish Bernie's accomplishments. They did it with Trump. They've been doing it, you know, as soon as Trump got elected, there was a coordinated attack on him from every which way. Not to say some of it wasn't justified. He's a shady guy, but it was over the top. These things are kind of invented. This collusion Russia narrative never played out. And the amount, of, the amount that it was hyped, you said that the president was an agent of a foreign power for two years and then turned around and went, oops, I guess we were wrong. It, it's absurd. And they're doing the same thing to Bernie in the primaries. You have to realize that. They're doing the exact same thing. They're throwing everything they can at him. Whether you fucking think his economic policies are reasonable or not, Understand the moment historically that you're living in. Many of you do not grasp it yet because things are still good. There's still Waffle Sundays and puppet shows. I don't know that that'll be around forever. And I know that when there's still Waffle Sundays and puppet shows, I like the former. <laughs> many of you like the latter. <laughs> but because there's still Waffle Sundays and puppet shows, nobody has fully taken time to appreciate the time and place in history you are in now where you're seeing the cracks of a civilization become too big to hide and the fractures are becoming too deep and too meaningful to ignore. And it's the national security state, it's big money players, and the people in this country are turning on the government. They are turning on the established order. They have been fed a diet of bullshit and lies for a very long fucking time. We've seen horrible abuses of women, children, human rights abuses, all of this shit coming to head in the last 24 to 48 months. And people are flipping the fuck out. People's minds have melted. The QAnon cult is people that really can't handle how much real shit is fucked up. So they've kind of invented this subterranean war that Trump is having with these deep state people. And he's going to, you know, bring justice to all of these people and whatever, all these people that they think are involved. And, you know, uh, and there's no real proof for that. There's no evidence for that other than conjecture. And, and that's not to say that there aren't slimy, shady people in Hollywood and Washington. We, I've talked about that as much as anyone on this fucking planet. 
I mean, maybe not as much as anyone on the planet because I want to have a little fun and laugh a little bit too. I just can't fucking talk about that every fucking minute. But, you know, we get how fucked it is. And I get the, the, you know, people wanting there to be this war happening. I've never I've never not wanted it to happen. I hope it is happening. I just haven't seen any evidence of it. And if I don't see any evidence of something, then I turn into Rachel Maddow sputtering on about Russian bots and Putin like a lunatic. And I refuse to let my mind be melted, even though it's a mind melting time. It's a mind melting time. Trump is the president. You know, that's wild in and of itself. Alex Jones is one guy in Austin, Texas that had a news, you know, organization. One guy that became so threatening, rightly or wrongly, whatever you want to say. And all the tech companies kind of got together and deplatformed him and t- Took all of his, but you know, he was kind of unpersoned, whatever you want to say, disappeared. And it's a crazy time that you have one person with that reach that becomes that much of a threat to whoever that they got to, you know, take quick action to get rid of him. And you might agree, you might go, hey, he's fucked up things, it's Sandy Hook, blah, blah, blah. None of this is we're not, we're not having moral arguments about all these things. What I'm what I'm telling you is just sit back and think about how inconceivable any of this was even 10 years ago that these types of things were happening. Because, again, this is the result of the the, the independence of media. It's starting to become a real problem for people in power. It's becoming a real devastating trend for them and they're going to have to do everything they can and they're starting with apps and the app's not working or the app doesn't work the app doesn't tabulate the votes and then they report that Pete and Amy came in second and third and they barely mentioned that Bernie won and then they'll tar him and feather him and say this about him and that about him and they'll you know arrange it so or hopefully They won't, but they're going to try as hard as they can to get their boy in the White House, their gal, whoever, you know, same reason Trump, you know, dropped that big bomb in Syria as soon as he got in. He's playing the game. It's just what it is. The mother of all bombs, the Moab, you know, we're defeating ISIS. You know, if you still believe that, I got, you know, I I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) I got some jewels to sell you. I mean, ISIS and all these things that don't exist, that we pretend and we make them up and we we trot them out when we need them. ISIS, to, you know, yeah, they're uh, it's, it's the Islamic State. They're horrible. They're terrorists. They're bad. They're bad boys and girls over there. We got to go set them straight. We got to go set them straight. And then we go do that. And then, you know, six months later, they're back again because... I guess they're the most powerful fighting force in the world because I thought we were, but somehow they evaded us or they went underground, then they came back up. And it's like, you know, what a what a fun little whack-a-mole situation we've got going on there in the Middle East. And it'll truly never end. And Bernie's really not going to do much about it either because he's been he, he's talked about the military industrial complex, and I respect that, but it's just how do you unwind that? You just don't, folks. You don't really unwind that. And you you people out there that think you can unwind it. Understand that you can unwind it, but it's it's not going to be good. It's going to be bad. It's not, and I'm not saying don't do it because it's morally an imperative that we don't do. But understand the amount of money that these people are making. They're going to fight back. It's going to be a fight. And listen, you might win, you won't. But understand, it's going to be bad. They're going to do bad things. I'm not saying it's not a worthwhile endeavor, but understand what's happening. A lot of you have this pie in the sky view of things that you, things are just going to change peacefully and playfully and everyone's going to be like, all right, you now it's your turn. It's not going to happen. They're, they're, these people are not going to give up power without a tremendous fight. They're not going to give up the money. They're not going to give up control. 
and you're not taking it from them. It's not going to be violence in the street. It's not going to be Antifa. It's not going to be your black backpack and your hat and you're throwing an egg. It's uh, Gavin McGinnis. None of that matters to these people. They don't give a shit because they have the police and the military <laughs> and all the technology and all the money and all the resources and all the land and all the corporations and all the tech and blah, 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 blah. What you have is Twitter. You have Twitter. You go, I don't like you. Now, if we have some massive demonstrations, some massive civil disobedience, if we have a guy like Bernie Sanders, maybe he's a transformational figure. Maybe he's not. I don't know. I'm skeptical about how anybody. But understand what this shit is, what it is at its core, who we are. Stop forgetting who we are. Ray, I was on the phone with Ray today. He brought up a great point. Who do these people think we are out there? You know, we got to get back to where, what? What? Get back. This country is a scam that ran out of steam about 50 years ago. It's been propped up by cheap credit and foreign wars. And it's going to fall. And it's going to be bad. Not immediately. And not, you know, but it's coming. It's coming. And those fat behemoths, no down deep it's coming. That's why they all file into the arena and watch the puppets. Because maybe they're smarter than us. Maybe they're actually the smart ones. Maybe they just want the raw fucking form of what this really is. Why dress it up with Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klondike Barr, whatever her name is? Why dress any of this shit up? Why not just go back to it in its original form? Furry puppets. Because that's what it is. Entertainment, bread and circus, spectacle. So maybe I'm the idiot that tries to make sense of it. And they're the people that just file in and watch the puppets. You know? Because those puppets are probably a hell of a lot funnier than Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> maybe they're not. As always, I leave this broadcast with a great hope for mankind. <laughs> <laughs>